Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video in this one. It's going to be kind of an interesting video for you guys. I'm going to be showing my war base. Um, it already, I think, is out there, and I just want to go ahead and give you guys an opportunity to see what my war base was from the last CWL war, how it held up. This should help Town Hall 10 base building. Uh, here's an actual overview of the entire base. I'll briefly talk about why it's set up the way it is. Then we'll take a look at the attacks on it, because it actually, um, after the scout, it defended an additional two attacks by Town Hall 10s before the third Town Hall 10 attack, the fourth overall total, uh, got the three star, which I'm happy about as one of the bottom Town Hall 10s. I will take absorbing two Town Hall 10 attacks, especially against a top clan like Invictus Prime. Uh, but taking a look at this base here, you can see the idea is mainly to defend La Lune and to keep those air defenses away from the Archer Towers, away from the Wizard Towers, you can see at the top of the base there, that's where I have my main uh, air tar uh, targeting defenses. Archer Towers, Wizard Towers, mostly out of range of those air defenses. Even the Wizard Towers at 6 o'clock at the bottom of the base there are still out of range of the air defenses. The stuff around the air defenses, mainly cannons. Now the Expos can uh, target whatever, uh, you know, a Lava Hound sitting at those air defenses, but the Expos, that's fine. It's mainly the Teslas, the Wizard Towers, and some of the Archer Towers you want to keep out of range of those, uh, of those uh, air defenses. The Expos don't matter as much as fine if they can still target them. Uh, the Sweepers pointed to try to push off balloons or dragons or anything coming up um, towards those Wizard Towers, Archer Towers. The only problem is the Queen, the Inferno, and quite a few of those air defenses are kind of clustered up together. If I could change this base a little bit, I would make it a little bit harder to get the uh, Inferno in two air defenses. Typically, you want to only give an Inferno in one air defense with a um, medium-sized push from a kill squad. So things are a little bit too uh, easy to get at 6 o'clock. We'll see how the attacks go because um, it has other stuff like giant bombs on the outside, spring traps, uh, various things like that to defend the Witch Bowler, to defend other stuff, but the main threat is going to be certain uh, La Luna attacks, whether it's a hero, suicide hero, queen walk, uh, kill squad based, anything like that. That's what we're mainly seeing at Town Hall 10, and let's take a look at how my base was actually hit. Starting with the first attacker here, Captain Underpants. Um, I Actually, I'm not sure if this is the leader of the F of uh, Invictus Prime or not. Actually, it might not be. Um, but regardless, Captain Underpants coming at my base here with a Queen Walk La Loon. And this is what they identified as the best strategy to take it out. Now you can see I have a Troll Tesla in the corner. Um, I might stop doing that, I'm not sure. Just because scouts almost always hit my base. And... It's a pretty easy trade for them to drop a balloon and also a wizard in this case to take out my air skellies. They were also there. Um, so it might be a better idea for our top Town Hall 10s who won't be scouted, who will just be dipped on by Town Hall 11s. A test that might help them defend a fresh Town Hall 11 dip. But when, we're, when my base is getting scouted in any way, it might not make sense to use the Troll Tesla anymore. I'll have to think about it, not sure exactly. But basically the idea was, after scouting, to have the heroes come in, uh, mainly the Queen and her healers, and grab the Inferno, two air defenses, the Queen and the CC troops. Pretty good value, to be honest. He almost missed the Queen's ability, but just barely gets it off. You can see the King is also walking with some wizards behind him, and uh, he got some great value on the poison there because it got the CC troops and the queen. Wizard does go down to the giant bomb, but he has his queen there anyway to take out the uh, the second air defense. So here he comes at my last two air defenses and then the, uh, the top of the base, which is the main kill zone for his balloons. So a lot to overcome, but he has quite a few spells. I think he only used like one or maybe two rages on the queen. So uh, right here, she steps up and uh, this freeze spell was insane. Take a look at the queen. She's so close to dying, but he freezes that expo, which was targeting her, and she barely stays up with only one archer tower on her. The freeze, of course, also helps out the balloons. So insane stuff there, but despite that, 
the air scalies I have by that top inferno, the wizard tower, the archer towers, it's all too much despite Lava Hound's tanking, despite the freeze spell, and his balloons go down. Uh, last Lava Hound pops right there, so it does not get the uh, the three star, not even that close to be honest, because um, it's hard to repeat the same kind of, I guess, luck you could say he had with his queen, maybe some incredible planning, but the, to be honest, that freeze spell was a little bit lucky, freezing the expo just before the queen died. Um, a split second later, she would have been down, but it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, things go down, and uh, and that's it for this or for that last attack. Now, the next one here is similar plan, and maybe they would have gotten it if not for one little mistake here. It's um, it's a good lesson maybe for you guys if you're trying to repeat an attack that someone else already did on the base you gotta make sure the parts you want to do the same are exactly the same. Zoom in, take a look at the tiles. I'm not exactly positive what did it for uh, Wan, Wahaj or whatever, um, but maybe it was the aggro on the, to the king there. The queen steps up to take out the king. That might have been it, just some unlucky factors. Sometimes you can't even predict um, some of these things. Happened to me once in one of my attacks during this war. Um, on a cleanup attack, or a after a scout, actually. So his queen walks the wrong way, so she's going to the right side, whereas the king's going to the left. Nothing's going in to get the inferno, the queen, the air defenses, and uh, the CC troops are going to come out and give a little bit of trouble to the king. Giant bomb goes off, so his wizards won't even grab that air defense. Not looking good. The queen actually will get one air defense, but a few of her healers are going down, and uh, there's not a whole lot more for her to get as she moves up the right side of the base there. So uh, you guys can pretty much infer what's going to happen here. The uh, the CC troops actually come out and start harassing the healers, which I thought was pretty funny. And this is actually a nice attack to wake up to seeing. But then I also saw that I was three-starred a few attacks later, which sucked. Uh, but we'll get to that. Let's finish uh, this attack here. Healers go down. Uh, Queen is not far from going down. Already used the ability. And he'll go ahead and just send the balloons in. Not a whole lot of hope here, but he can still kind of see what the, uh, you know, completely scout the base out and uh, test out a few things, if nothing else. Baby Dragon also comes out of the CC um, to cause even more havoc, but he does a pretty good job adjusting. Drops a freeze on the Queen, the Inferno, gets some good value there, and uh, just sends his balloons through the base. He won't get it, but he actually gets a solid amount of the base taken out. So a nice try there, had the queen gone the right way, this might have been a 3 star 1 attack earlier, but still I think forcing an attack like a queen charge Laloon is not that bad of a trade for a Town Hall 10. Could my base be better? Yes it could, after taking a look at how things went this week. Obviously I'm going to make a new base for the next CWL matchup and uh, make the adjustments necessary, but um, forcing someone to come in and charge a Inferno Tower with a queen walk is something that is difficult for attackers to do and if you force a difficult attack like that mistakes are bound to happen and a few did happen which got me those first two defenses uh three i guess if you count the scout but no one really counts the scouts so two defenses against actual town hall 10 hits this third one comes in and gets the job done i guess the placement on the queen was a little bit better so she does not go the incorrect way and pretty much this was how it was planned to go, um, probably from the start. You know, Town Hall 10s, we draw up these plans, and oftentimes we're not changing them that much from one attack to another. It's typically just, you know, one tweak here, one tweak there. Typically the bases are already scouted. We know what's probably the best chance of working. It's just about changing a few things to get the three star. And look at that rage, a little bit, uh, a little bit close on the healers. They're barely in that. Um, would have been nice uh, for me for him to have to use the early ability there. Uh, that really would have screwed him up because uh, the Inferno, he needs the ability for the Inferno. But the Wall Breakers get the job done. Very close on the Wall Breakers, but they get it a little bit close on the ability too. Very tight rope attack here for sure. But um, the concept's already been proven to a certain extent by the first attack. Out come the CC, but that poison, probably I'm giving them too good a value by having the queen, the CC troops. Everything's just a little bit too good right there, um, especially those two air defenses. If I could just move one, that one air defense um, that's about to go down to the wizard right there, if I could move that to where the cannon was, that might have made it even better. 
Although the wizards would have grabbed it anyway because I guess they get the cannon. So I'll have to think about how I want to adjust my base. Well, actually, I'm not going to keep this base, but how I want to uh, create a new base that might use similar concepts but adjust a few things. So here comes the Laloon, uh, pretty much spot on deployment. The queen's still looking good, just one expo on her, and I believe the freeze also freezes that expo off of her, so she's going to be healed back up. The air skellies do pop, so right here I'm thinking there might be some hope, but that's a good heal. It's going to get those balloons back to full health as they encounter the inferno. They still get the benefit of the rage there. A few of the pups help on the air skellies. And the queen, this is a big difference too. Um, the queen is your best endgame troop. She's better than a group of balloons, especially when she has healers on her. And he has the queen up, which is the most important part, but also quite a few uh, troops for cleanup as well. So good job to Invictus Prime, both their attackers and their overall performance in war. That'll do it for this video. Hope you guys like seeing my base. And let me know if you want to see more of my CWL bases. We have a... Uh, by next weekend, but there'll be more action coming out the weekend after. We're looking good though. One and three, tough record, but um, we definitely uh, performed better this week, and we're looking to go up to two and three next week. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.